Peace forever and always. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra, and welcome once again to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Of course, in the name of my ancestors, I welcome you in peace. Uh, this is my video response to President Obama's plan to send more troops into Afghanistan. That's sort of rhyme. Obama's plan to send troops to, yo, Afghanistan. <laughs> I watched some of his uh, speech, and of course, after the president speaks, the uh, news always give us the highlights, and you have all these people that give their two cents. So, I wish to bring forth my little two cents. That's all. In fact, my two cents is not even worth two cents. But I have this media at my disposal, so let me go ahead and drop this opinion before uh, this brief time runs out. I listened to uh, the president and as he spoke, I could not believe that people would actually clap about this decision. How can you clap? How can you clap when you're talking about prolonging destruction? You're talking about prolonging murder, killing, mayhem, and chaos. You've already been in this place for eight years. And now you want to go for a little bit more. Why? The first question that the American public should want to know is why the president said the why is because this is a staging ground for terrorist activity and they are protecting America and its vital interests. All the pictures of Afghanistan that we've seen is basically dirt. The only agriculture that we see that they give us is the heroin poppy. What is America's vital interest? The question is, why is America in Afghanistan? How can you, President Obama, want to continue to send troops to Afghanistan when you have suffering in America? Your people are out of work. There are people in these food lines and unemployment lines, great suffering in your country, but you can afford to continue a war that clearly you have lost. And it is not even a war because a war, to my knowledge, is supposed to be declared by the Congress. And war was not declared on Iraq by the Congress, nor was it declared on Afghanistan by the Congress. These are conflicts created by the uh, Bush administration. The American people should ask the real reason why. Because this is a launching ground for terrorists, but even according to your own uh, propaganda, nothing has come, no type of an attack has come from Afghanistan since 2001. This is 2009, and America itself has not been touched since 2001. And then the question remains and it's up in the air that the government itself might have had something to do with 9-11. Not just me. 
Many people believe the government has something to, to do with 9-11 so they could justify the invasion of Iraq to disarm Saddam Hussein, who never had, and they always knew, didn't have weapons of mass destruction. You want to, President Obama, you want to rebuild Afghanistan. Now you're there because you say that that is, that is a staging ground of, of terrorism, but you never said anything about the other type of terrorism, which is that it is the, Afghanistan is the number one capital of Paran. You're not saying anything that the troops are going to stop these farmers from growing all this Paran, and then this Paran eventually is brought to America and it poisons your people. You don't say nothing about that. This don't make any sense. Why would you continue to have a, uh, a, what am I saying? There are at going to there are going to be at least two hundred thousand troops in Afghanistan, but the estimates is that there are only twenty thousand Taliban and maybe one hundred Al Qaeda in Afghanistan. What? This don't even make any sense when you think about it. Then. You want to rebuild Afghanistan. You want to help them, but, and you want black people to help. Because we're citizens of this nation. You want our help. But where was the help in the rebuilding of black people in this nation? During Reconstruction. During the time that the black man was freed in this nation. America promised to the so-called Negro, I'm going to give you 40 acres and a mule. You didn't give us nothing and we pay our taxes and we die for this nation and you gave us nothing but you can go around and you want black people to pay our taxes and take our tax money to rebuild somewhere else and you never gave us nothing and you continue not to give us nothing and you want us to send our babies to your military so they'll die for, a, for an agenda we really don't understand I want to say to the American people. You need to question what is really going on here. Barack Obama said that his purpose was to get America out of Iraq, get America out of uh, Afghanistan. But as you can see clearly, this is a going to be on the long haul. Some of it is due to America's arrogance just like they did in the Vietnam War, they don't want to admit defeat. So they'll continue to uh, accept loss. And they will accept loss because the people allow it. Because the American public, too busy drinking liquor, too busy watching pornography, too busy in their own ordinary lives trying to survive a condition that the government helped create so they can continue to do these things to you and me. Your government is corrupt. And some of y'all laugh when you talk about corrupt politicians. And you laugh about corrupt lawyers. But these are the vessels. These are the men and the women who affect our lives. How can you take that as a joke? I, would not, I don't see anything about telling jokes about lawyers and corrupt politicians. That's not nothing to joke about. Many people have suffered and are suffering because of corrupt politicians and incompetent lawyers. You should question. You rebuild other nations, but you won't rebuild black people. You don't want to help black folks. We are called beggars. We are called uh, non-appreciative for the scraps that we get. Here we are, we live in a nation that rebuilt Germany after World War II, that rebuilt Japan after World War II. They killed American soldiers, Germany and Japan. The black man in America, the so-called Negro, the descendant of slaves, helped you fight the Germans, helped you fight Japan. But what do you do for them? What do you do for the so-called
called Negro, you give us nothing. But you want all. Let me tell you something. I refuse to sit back and allow us to continue to be pets to you. I'm not your pet. I'm not your slave. And black folks in, in America should no longer take this kind of treatment. We earn much, much more. And the American public should question this thing. Their leaders, Obama, and what they're doing here. Something here don't smell right. Don't y'all smell it? Something don't smell right. This is your brother, Tony, keep it raw. This was and is the reality of temple on earth. And if somebody don't want you to question them, something is wrong. Peace. Ah, oh, and I'm out.